fly, envious time, till thou run out thy race. Call on the lazy leaded stepping hours, whose speed is but the heavy plummet's pace, and glut thyself with what thy womb devours, which is no more than what is false and vain and merely mortal dross. So little is our loss, so little is thy gain. For when as each thing bad thou hast entombed, and last of all thy greedy self consumed, then long eternity shall greet our bliss with an individual kiss. And joy shall overtake us as a flood when everything that is sincerely good and perfectly divine with truth and peace and love shall ever shine about the supreme throne of him whose happy making sight alone when once our heavenly guided soul shall climb. Then all this earthly grossness quit, attired with stars, we shall forever sit, triumphing over death and chance and thee, O oh time. guys and welcome back into another episode of uh, what's in my steam library now in this case we're playing silent hunter 4 as you can probably tell but we also played the expansion which is called the u-boat missions anyway, we're going to be playing for german side because i do prefer to play for german side when it comes to second world war uh, just the technology is much better and it's much more fun for that case as well uh, so i want to show you this game uh, as you know, it's going to be 4K, maximum settings and graphics. I'm not going to go there, but let's play the Uber campaign. And uh, we have to select uh, how we want to play it. So I'm going to show you one mission essentially, or we're going to do one, uh, um, what they say, like one uh, mission out with the boat. Uh, let's name ourselves uh, Bailing Blood, right? Why the hell not? And. As you can see, we can start different years, but I want to start with the early technology. Uh, the Germans definitely had the upper hand. Well, actually, by 1943, with the submarines, probably not anymore. Later on, they did have a game, but at 43, probably not. However, we're going to be in Pacific in there. You're definitely going to be the most formidable opponent to anybody else. Uh, Penang is the best uh, base to have at the start, really. And uh, only one U boat. Uh, again, I was massive player of Silent Hunter 3 M4 by uh, this uh, expansion. Thousands of others, uh, but that was before the Steam deal. So I do kind of know a lot. Uh, there was much more boats actually to select uh, in the Silent Hunter 3, and it was in Europe. I preferred that. If that was possible in 4, that would be excellent, but never mind. We will have to stick with this. Difficulty. It doesn't matter now. We're going to change it later, and Renault, we're going to keep less, because I like to start from worst position, let's put it this way. Let's start the game then, and now, okay, we're going to get some, like, blah, 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 uh, proceed, and I'm not really interested in that, uh, because, as you see, we'll be in command position, we're going to see everything I can. First thing first, we should select our boat, and uh, during the game, as you think in the other ships, or... Well, yeah, it's probably just for the sinking, but also for your accomplished missions, you will gain renown. That renown can be spent on many things. Uh, upgrading your uh, stuff, essentially getting new stuff, uh, getting stuff with uh, some kind of skills. You can see how much this one costs, 3750 3, I can't even afford that guy. Uh, and it can be in engines rooms. As I say, it's proper management game. I'm not going to go too deep into that right now, because you probably want to see the game playing. What I want to do, I just want to make sure... When it comes to my sonars, we have the best available, so when it comes to the hydrophone, uh, yes, it is the best one, and radar 
the best one. No mind then. Do we have any coating possible? Oh wait, I didn't check it in here. We did. Uh, okay, so let's go back. Uh, hydrophone. We have GH, GH, 25 meters, uh, 25 kilometers and 140 degrees. Uh, we can select 30,000, okay, or 25, well, by all means, obviously, this is what we want to have. Uh, is this the most, imp it is, it is the most important thing. Let's take this one. Now we have only 550, it's not going to do anything at radar. 7,500 meters right now, and we probably can have, yeah, one better one. So again, uh, we only gonna see one mission, but let's say we're gonna earn some renown. Let's say we're gonna get like, let's say 10,000. We can definitely upgrade the ship. And uh, can we get anything else for 500? No, uh, I'm pretty sure that's not gonna be the case. Never mind. Uh, torpedoes, very important. Now we can get some special torpedoes, and I probably should spend renown on there. Whatever's left. Uh, it is pre-selected with T1, which is good, and then some T2, which is uh, is a three, even three. That's even better. Okay, so what's the difference between those two? And there's some two t T2s as well in there. Pretty sure this one was three. It was, yeah. So, the T1 is much faster, as you can see the speed on there. Just briefly to tell you what it's going to be like while I'm taking what I'm taking. Much faster, better range as well, but it has a bubble, so the enemy is going to see that and going to try to maneuver. The second one, okay, it's slower, it doesn't have as much range, but they will not see it because it's electric. No bubbles, it's simply going to be a surprise. Uh, if they don't know you are, you know, present in the seas, they will not try to do any evasions, and you're simply going to hit them as guaranteed. We also have T3. This one is better version uh, because it's a uh, longer range and slightly faster than the T2. I believe it's speed as well. Better. Let's have a look. It is by two knots. We have some of those, and now all in the external stuff is not all of them. Some ones. Uh, I tell you what, the ones are pretty much useless outside of night time. Uh, not gonna take those. Instead, I'm gonna. And the back four, like this is the back uh, torpedo tubes. Uh <coughs> the back one is always defensive. You don't want, don't want them to know that you're shooting torpedoes. So I'm gonna replace it with second one. And this one costs me zero. Uh, the T2 or T1. Depends if you want on the range and speed or you want to have the stealthiness and slight range. Uh, and then we get four more on the this one. I probably should. Simply just take the second ones and put it to the outside, and then to the inside of the ship. Because you can only, you know, start reloading those torpedoes from outside once those internal storage are expanded, and when you're up uh, above the water. So that uh, is very important. We're going to put it. And let's take something really serious. Like let's say somebody is chasing us. Uh, meaning we should have one. <coughs> of the defensive torpedoes on the back, excuse me. We can take... Uh, well, Falco is acoustic homing, oh, it is. And this one is also passive acoustic homing. Okay, if you are in really, really deep trouble... One of the Falco... The no, this is for attack, so let's say this one will be in the front. This is for defense, the better one, in case you need to run away from a uh, destroyer. Now, one of the front tubes, uh, number four, should really be already preloaded with the best one we have, and then everything else will be second ones. Let's do that quickly, there we go, uh, that's now ready. Uh, every everything else must be ready, uh, there's nothing we can really do, any promotions, anything like that, I don't expect yet. Didn't do any missions, that's fine, we got 50 Renault left, uh, not much to do. Now. Let's go to the actual mission. <laughs> there was a. Uh, <laughs> can we go back still? Yes, we can because uh, there should be options for the settings. Uh, definitely want to make sure. Uh, right now, we have selected for low. Oh, we're gonna play. We want to have realistic kind of realistic as much as it can. Limited batteries, uh, compressed air yeah, as well. Limited O2 for sure. Fuel absolutely. Realistic repair time, yes, manual targeting, I can't do that, uh, normal contact is, I can't do that, realistic sensors, yes, do torpedoes, absolutely, realistic roll, absolutely, no end camera, it's fine, no external view, I can't do without it, no stabilized view is fine, I'm not gonna mind that, and there we go, realism 77, 
outside of no external way and no manual targeting, uh, everything else is pretty much a go. Let's apply that. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. Let's go back and now we can go to the mission. <laughs> can we make it uh, faster? I'm pretty sure the mission is... Uh, let's look at the tender for this time so you can see. You can start outside in the actual Z, but uh, I want to show you everything from the start. <coughs> I'm pretty sure the sh first mission will be... It's always something easier, so you don't even actually have to actively hunt for enemy ships and sink them. It's usually going to transport something somewhere. All you have to come is just to get there. Which in 1943 in Pacific should be quite easy, yes. to be honest. Uh, there will be lots of planes hunting us, but uh, as long as you don't do anything stupid, it will be quite easy task to do. And uh, you'll have to forgive me, although I played thousands of hours, uh, it's been a while, it may have been five years since I played this last time, so a little bit of familiarization, but I do know this external camera, let's have a look from the outside of our ship, and uh, this is the first time I've seen 4K myself, because I didn't have 4K obviously four years ago, or five years ago, so just so you can have uh, the appreciation for the U-boy, how it looks like. And as you see, it's not that deep in here. We're still in the shallows and in the docks. And this is us. This is our ship. Our beautiful ship, if I may say so. So let's go in here and uh, let's go slowly away. Yes, sir. Ahead standard. Standard. Uh, normally you start with the half, but that's fine. And let's have a look. <coughs> Apologies. How fast we're gonna move out? Not that quickly, as you can tell. But uh, it will give you the appreciation again. Bit a bit. Uh. So for me, I the graphics even today are still good, and of course I do have Silent Hunter 5. But I do think in in every aspect this game was better, outside of the graphics. Uh, which sadly the graphics uh, again, if it's better gameplay on here, why would you play? the game which has everything worse outside of graphics because the graphics are so good. Uh, Silent Hunter 5 has absolutely stunning graphics but uh, sadly they uh, took some realism out of the way to make it be simpler I guess uh, but I did enjoy the third one and the fourth one because it was very realistic in the marshment and I was teaching myself how to be a submarine captain and uh, look at that uh, quite impressive battleship on the Japanese Navy. Uh, let's see how deep she is below the ground, uh, below the waterline. We can't see ourselves, can we? Where are we now? Right there, it's too far away, there's no way we can, yeah, to compare. But, look at that. So, uh, Obviously, our enemy, in this case, that will be mostly USA or Australia or United Kingdom uh, now and then, but mostly uh, USA, obviously. They will have uh, equally impressive ships, if not better. And maybe we're gonna stack one or two. Uh, I doubt on our very first mission, but it will happen now. We're facing towards the mainland, so I should really start doing some navigation. So, when we're in this mode, uh, we can see our map and we can start navigating the ship out of the well, I think it was clicking on it, no. So it was floating the course this way, now it was the left one, it was left one, 19 kilometers like that. Let's get us out uh, of the main islands, and we're gonna have to go, where's the mission? Oh, it's actually on the opposite way. Scratch that then, we're gonna go down. In this case, uh, so all of this will be definitely friendly waters. And there'll be no action, I'll have to speed up the time, which you can. It is a full-time simulation, but you can speed up the time up to 8,000 times. So it won't take us the, that long. In this case, it will be 42 hours. And yeah, around, it's predicting it's, it's around 32 hours if you keep it uh, in normal speed. Uh, maybe there are some crazy players out there who will do the actual mission, but uh, not myself. I don't have that much time. I <laughs> should finish this uh, single patrol. That's what you say when you go in submarine out. Uh, this single patrol under two hours uh, and all we have to do it's all friendly territory to be fair we just need to deliver something in here i'm sure let's have a look uh, exactly oops that's not 
that, uh, so it must be the other one. Reached the normal base in Manila and deliver supplies. <coughs> so I was right. Now let's have a look if our ship is doing maneuvering. Yes, she is. And now we are totally okay to yes, speed up a little bit. And how beautiful is that? I mean, again, the game did age, but not that bad. Uh, it's still quite beautiful and uh, it's very realistic. You will see there's uh, a lot of it uh, that you can do. And uh, it kind of makes you feel like you are in the actual war and you are actually fighting the enemy. So for now, it's just gonna speed up the time and uh, there's a chance. Uh, after we finish the mission, obviously, I'm not gonna go straight back. Uh, I'll try to snack someone from the Pacific Ocean. Let's go towards somewhere there and we'll see. Maybe there will be some enemy. I mean, right now, I don't have the rank, but maybe I can request the planes. I can. Okay, yeah. Uh, so they can do some scouting for me. Maybe there will be some enemies around. Uh, as you play, like progressively playing the game, uh, there will be. You get better ranks as an admiral. You can even command uh, battleships to your position stuff. For now, we're just gonna put some scout planes. That's what I can do from those bases. Uh, I can use this one as well to kind of explore. You can see how far away I can send them. So I can send one on out on this side. There may be some enemies on this side, but. In here, inside, there will be nothing. So let's speed up the time. I uh, can't see now if it's. Uh, must have been plus minus. Uh, okay, it is. Uh, yes, plus minus. It is. Because the thing is, the icon for my recording is hiding how much <laughs> it is sped up. And uh, yeah. I can't really tell. However, I can see we're going much faster now, and every time we're going to have contact, it's going to slow down because the game is going to give you a chance to react to that. Uh, so now you can see the planes flying. There's nothing here but those red ones. That's uh, enemy convoys that they found. But uh, for now, yeah, a full ahead, which is going to go through all of this. Let's just keep speeding up the game. Again, we get new contact, that's why it's stopped on its own. Uh, just so you can check it out if that's an uh, enemy or not, but we didn't see anything else. Let's go ahead. Hopefully I didn't plant the route painfully and we're not going to crash into any of the islands. can slow it down now in here and see. Because yeah, ev everything's actual size. Uh, so although on the map it looks close, but as you see it's not that close. Well, it is kind of close, but it is in the actual actual size. So the map is uh, as large as uh, the actual <laughs> world is. Or at least this kind of part of the world, because there's not... Well, that's technically there is a full world, isn't it? Yes, there is, uh, but uh, I doubt you can go... Well, you can, uh, but uh, your fuel will not take you. And there'll be no supply lines neither, so maybe that's uh, the borders. Uh, but you'll be probably getting sink down anyway. I mean, uh, you'll find out later when you can go in enemy territory. The US has a lot of airplanes, and they're quite good at hunting subs. Uh, later on, they will have very good destroyers, uh, but right now we should be still fine against destroyers as well. To be fair, they didn't, nobody had really comparable as good uh, submarines in the whole world. And uh, in for 1943, although the UK started catching up with some technology on, on the U-boats, having st uh, started to have some success, uh, they pulled off uh, again in the same year, and uh, it will be kind of a ruling until uh, 1945. Although again, 1945, they started getting synced uh, a lot by enemy planes, uh, submarine hunters, because uh, technology again progressed uh, better, but. Uh, and also they stole the Enigma, so they knew where the submarines are, and etc. But, uh, yeah, this first patrol actually uh, is way too simple, and it's in friendly territory. I, I think it's uh, designed for the player to just kind of learn how to operate the game. For me, it's just, yeah, let's just go straight there, finish the mission, and then we're gonna go hunt. And when we expand all the torpedoes, uh, we'll come back <laughs> to collect our awards. Medals, hopefully, and lots of renown. <coughs> Apologies, I'm probably getting worse, uh, not even better, with my throat, so almost there. I'm getting closer, we probably should start slowing down the time, so it doesn't crash completely into the wall. Sadly, I can't really see this, how much we speed up. 
and just just about the movement of the of the ship but it's gonna be soon enough that we should uh, start slowing down I can't even tell what is normal speed okay that's game pass and now we probably going one fourth one half normal speed I wish there was a way how to increase the hot size uh, maybe there is uh, for the 4K resolution is really too small, I can't really see anything and now the icon is hiding, I don't see the time. Let's have a look, is this a normal time? It does look like normal time. Let's pause, normal. 8 times as much, 4 times as much, 2 times. Pause this, yeah I can't judge, I can't tell. This is normal and now as you see, it's still in far distance. Now let's try to use the banner color. I want to see if we can see anything in front of us. Oh, definitely there's something there, so yeah, at this kind of distance, but it's still few kilo kilometers. Let's use the 7 to be exact. Let's use the speed up. I'm gonna approach. This is already the icon for docking, it is. Oh, okay, so we don't want to dock though. We want to, we don't want to refit neither. It should give us the icon that we just delivered. Let's go closer to the actual location. Let's get back on the ship. So we're gonna go to the docks. Uh, God knows how close we have to be before we'll be able to send off the supplies. So this is normal speed. Still just this. Oh, getting awfully close. Let's try to reposition again. I should start going into normal speed. We yes, don't want to crash because it's not as easy to stop the machine as you can imagine. We're in shallow waters, uh, how much is the shallow in here? Let's let's do this pink. Only 40 meters underneath. Let's go into very slow this time and let's have a look at how much is the 40 meters looking like. It's probably, yeah, pretty much on the bottom. So we can barely go so submerge in here without scratching our belly, uh, to be fair. I should probably stop the ship now. Yes, sir. Gonna crash anyway. Oh, there we go. Launch boat. Let's go in here. Okay, wait. Uh, let's go talk to the rest in that case. Our guy's gonna deliver uh, the <laughs> supplies of the sea. Not exactly smooth, uh, but that's good enough. animation and all. And our guys gonna get delivered. We already finished the mission so that's all good. We can certainly just say complete and let's requ request new orders. And now they want us to sing something. They want us to sing at least 5,000 tons in this grid. We have to go and find where the grid is. Uh, how do I close it? There you go. Where is it? Down there. So we need to plan this approach. Uh, from here, let's make a plot. New one, let's turn around completely, then let's go safely away. Obviously, the darker is the blue, the more deeper is in there, and you can use the superiority of the German submarine going much deeper. So it's not as easy to sink. I'll have to navigate those uh, islands again, but uh, to be fair, that's another problem. Where is it down there? I just need to make sure I'm not gonna crash into any of the small ones. Because uh, the I will just crash into the rocks essentially when the game is speed up like 2000 times, we're gonna sink in an instance and that'll be it. Let's go this way. This should be safe without any small islands, I hope so. Trying to avoid all the white spots. Uh, maybe 
We cannot squeeze it through the, the gap in here. Well, there's some kind of a violence in there. Let's go down this way. Now, carefully navigate this. Go in between here. Okay, and then somehow we should be there. There's probably island in there. Let's go around and let's get there. Cool. Uh, how's our fuel? Looks 84, so that's definitely fine. We could have refit, but you know what? It's, it's fine. There's, uh, we're still in plenty of territory. Let's do full speed. The ship's gonna turn around, hopefully, yeah. Should be fine. <coughs> speed up the game. And on the way. You can go much faster there, isn't it? Uh, some kind of contact, but that was must be friendly. There'll be no enemy on these borders. Oh, that'll be really stupid. Well, what is this? Oops, oopsie daisy, oopsie daisy. Maybe that's a crash. Let's go. Around it. I'm just gonna use this and pull it like this. Okay, that should be fine now. There's friendly convoy on the map. What is this? That's probably shallows, yeah, there's no island there. That's friendly ship. Let's go faster, we can. Arca spotted. Is there enemy aircraft doing? Let's maintain orders, let's see. What's gonna happen? It will be quite silly if uh, enemy was really in this area. I don't think so. Well, let's speed up the game, let's see what happens. Apparently nothing, no contact on the map. One of the silliness. <coughs> Okay, new radar signals, that means uh, aircraft. We're picking up on long distance. I hope this is very shallow in there, but obviously we are submerged. Oh, sorry. Well, submerged is above the water, right? Yeah. Or, oh, I'm, I'm confused now. Uh, above the water we are, uh, so that's no problem. Let's speed up the game even more. We can go up to like 10,000 or something. Let's maintain orders again. Let's see if that ar aircraft is going to appear. Now, there's a chance. No, it should be still blue ones, all of them. But nothing seems to be happening. I don't see any contacts. Uh, do we have a... Because the thing is... If those guys who are on the top of the deck are not really good at spotting or anything like that... Uh, they will not even see the aircraft, they can still sink me. It's the third shift, it's the worst one, obviously. Right now on there, and their skill probably spotting something is terrible. Uh, we can technically die. Uh, in these kind of situations, because I'm just going to speed up the time and not going to see it here. The game told me I should watch for the plane and then they're going to sink me because I got to speed it 2000 times doing nothing. And the AI on the sailors right now, they're not very good as their first patrol them for themselves. They're kind of noobish, uh, they don't have the skills to shoot down the airplane themselves without my intervention or dodge it or anything like that. Now it seems to be I navigated successfully around all these obstac obstacles in here, and soon enough we're getting closer now, so let's slow it down to... Uh, that's the pause, that should be one now. Let's request a scout point from there. We want to find something obviously, isn't it? Let's request a different scout point to here. Do we have any more? Australia is enemy territory, of course, so probably not. Uh, this one is maybe bigger circle, it's not. This one was bigger, but not big enough, but maybe. We can scout for that as well. Uh, now, let's go in normal speed. Yes, uh, we're gonna have to definitely wait for the airplanes to come first. They'll come in now. Oh, and there's a ship in there, for sure. Let's go. These are all merchants. Slow, it must be medium, it may be warship. And slow. Well, what of them going away? Uh, we're not gonna catch them. We have to wait for the second spy plane to spot something for us, but technically... Okay, so we are in the, in the grid now. We should start chasing this uh, ship, maybe we're gonna get it. So she is going this way. If we go behind... Oops. Let's delete that second one. If we go... I think somewhere here and then on the same line as she was going, but this must be possibly an island. So she will change probably the location. Let's go flanking speed. 
This uh, merchant ship set will go like 8 knots. Uh, we can do, as you can see, maximum in good conditions above the water 21. So we should be able to catch them easily above the water. And, uh, oops, fuck. By mistake I put uh, to go submerge. Are we underwater? I suspect we are, yeah, because uh, I clicked 25 meters. Uh, of course, uh, that's a good time to show you the ship in a, its beauty and underwater, uh, but what I wanted, I wanted to change this uh, dial like this, okay, so we can go as you see, technically it should be safe to 260, not safe, but it will be dangerous like in the red zone, but technically maybe you're gonna survive if there's a uh, full structure on your of your hull uh, the turning is better still in this one, and the speed is best on that one let's go submerge and let's observe the normal speed submerging <laughs> Because we can test it, at least now you can see on maximum speed underwater is 7 knots because that's your electric engines doing the job, not the diesels, they can't go as fast and you can't use diesels underwater so that's the reason and now we're gonna go up and also the German ships are pretty much uh, better because not only they are better designed as a, as a whole design but, and uh, like more destructive power, firepower and everything else but uh, they were the ships that can go to the deepest to height uh, and they will do it the fastest way so going up or down is the fastest and of course they will be the fastest on the top of the water and below as well for most of the war against almost everybody there's uh, there is exceptions to everything but uh, in general especially even this one this type uh, if the 8 was very good ship uh, and certainly better than anything else out there outside of what was coming after that uh, uh, for the German side really so we are above the water, we are still flunky speed, we are jumping up in speed now obviously because we are above water, it's gonna go to 21. Can we request any more of those? Yeah. Let's uh, send it on our location. In here and let's see what those spy planes can relieve for us, we're gonna probably crash into the... Let's cancel that, we're gonna crash into the island possible islands, let's just come on like, like this and let's go into normal speed, we need to wait for that spy plane to show us okay so he's, go he's exactly here and that seems to be going through that we may have a still a chance, let's go one more time can I please adjust my course now this is uh, not the game, uh, this is problem with uh, me probably being in pause, but also my mouse is a bit dodgy now. Let's go this way, and we can predict uh, if this ship is going this way. Let's align it again. We shall be able to. Can we delete the other one? Thank you. We shall predict uh, the angle as we and the distance we don't hit it at. So I want to go like 2,000 meters away from it maximum and at 90 degrees, so I wanna go there that's that's the spot I want to be at when uh, the ships can reach that spot they have the best chance to sink it so hopefully we're gonna see it for a while, let's go maximum speed as well so we need to get ahead on there so we lost the sight, it doesn't matter, we're gonna wait for the ship coming here let's go normal speed, uh, let's go slow speed We speed it up again, now we got a uh, ship spotted sir, okay so we spotted somewhere, it's not on the map yet, I wish I knew if we are paused we would not, I mean uh, what speed we are, let's go twice as fast, I want to see it on the map first, can't see anything, okay. I assume it's the ship that we see on, it should be on the right side, because it's night, yeah, again, those guys are useless, so let's go and the Z doesn't help neither should be somewhere between 40 to 50 degrees, I will assume can we make a contact, it's right there so it was 50 to 60 let's mark it that's our, our ship It's a small freighter, oh, let's have a look at the book. It's not big, uh, 2,400 tons, so of course we'll need at least uh, 3 of those, because technically we need 5,000 uh, before we can do the limit, uh, but 
because it's small, it's actually quite fast, 13 knots, but in this case, yeah, they're actually going slow, 5 knots. Now, this is uh, something that I selected myself, I don't want to calculate it. So this is the OTCD, the calculating uh, for the torpedoes. But, uh, uh, then again, it, it, show, it just showed me, it's like, normally you will have to do use the tools to calculate this for your own. Uh, I, d I don't know how to do that properly, uh, so I just let the computer to do that for, my, for me. Instead of that, everything else is pretty much realistic. And there was one more thing, the external camera, yes, we can't see. I, I left this so we can have an external view, that's only for me, so I like the game more like this, so I can have a kinematic shots and stuff. So now we are in rough seas as well, as you see it was kind of hard to aim at the ship or anything like that. Good news is we're going to be much more stealthier as well ourselves. And the question is, can we see it on the map? No. Our guys didn't mar mark it yet, again, that should be done by computer, but uh, personally I already found it, uh, but the AI didn't. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go submerge, we know it's going to us. And let's watch the whole sequence. Uh, we're not even going to maximum speed, so it's gonna take even longer. So perhaps I should speed that part. Because I, I don't want to speed up the, the engine, so that's gonna speed it up, but I'll make more noise. So let's go down. There we go, so we are now. Let's raise the periscope. In this case, uh, let's do the attack periscope straight away. Let's use the scope as well. It's going up. This is going to be quite rough, so it will be hard for me to, to find it anyway. I guess, but we already know it was around 50. Let's use the zoom. It's right there, yeah, but right now even the AI doesn't recognize it. I just guess, can see it. That's fine. Uh, we need to still get to the 2000 meters, because uh, if I did it, Apologies, ruler. Uh, if I did it like a uh, sort of accurate, which uh, as you see, I'm not really taking care to be precise, precise, but it should be accurate enough. This is where we're supposed to be. We are still five kilometers away from that position, so I'm gonna speed up the time. Now I'll, I'll go on normal speed, and soon enough we should see the ship being on the map as well. I assume. Okay, the game stopped because uh, they probably noticed the ship now, but it's still on the map. I think we we put the. Did I by accident uh, selected out the context of the map from our game settings? Is it possible to find it now? No, no, it's not. Uh, I, I think I may have by accident the map contacts are not visible to make it harder for me. I'm an idiot then. Uh, this is uh, not good. Uh, yeah, so that's 3,000 meters away. I won't be able to see the angle now, will I? Because it's not going to show on the map. Uh, I'm idiot, I shouldn't really do it. I, I should be able to see the ship in here. Come in, and then you can see your solution, and you will see when it's 90 degrees, and then you can shoot. Uh, yeah, I'm a total idiot. Uh, now I have to just assume the ship... Or this is aiming at the ship, so if the ship is going this way... That's not 90 degrees by far. Let's uh, speed up the game, and let's wait for the 90 degrees to happen. Essentially, we'll have to be in front of us, so let's go faster fast. Oh wait, we need to stop down the ship. How close are we? Two kilometers away from that, and it said before it was 3000 meters, so it, the ship must be somewhere here, anyway. Yeah, I made a mistake on that, I should have uh, let the map to be updated. Oh, can't change it now, we can change it after. Uh, either way, let's have a look uh, through the periscope then. We'll have to observe the angle from here uh, and judge from, from that. Let's stop the engines completely. I think we're too close to the ship anyway already. Uh, let's put it up again. We lost the truck. Let's locate them there. Let's check our tubes. I mean, it's night. We're going to be pretty close. We can expand the ship once, the torpedo once. Hopefully, the ship will not see it and will hit it. And it's a small as well ship. Uh, one torpedo will do the job. For sure, if not, we're gonna use our cannon. I don't think there's anything on that ship that can defend anyway, uh, himself. There's some machine guns, but you know, we can just shoot from distance with the artillery gun. Uh, so now, it's getting more like it. Almost 90 degrees, let's slow it down back to pause. So let's have a look, what's the solution looking like now? It looks like we're almost aiming there, so that must be 90 degrees. Okay, 
Torpedo 1. Fire. And hopefully we're gonna see the torpedo coming up out of here. It does. Let's see it under actual water. You can see the line uh, the, of the bubbles above the water, so this is why you don't really want to use them if you don't have to. Where's the ship? It's right there. And we'll see if she's gonna react or not to the fact there's torpedo coming up. And that's close enough, I'm not gonna even speed up the game. Maybe by one. So that should be twice the speed now. Or soon enough we should be able to see. She's still definitely not reacting. But torpedo already exploded. What the hell? And there was nothing there. That's that's a bad news. I think the map update actually broke the game completely. That's uh, doesn't register the ship properly, and that may can make mess up the computer. Well, that's not a good example of the game, I guess. Then uh, that's uh, <coughs> something I mess up though personally. If I haven't done that, it will be normal, and uh, it's much better, more enjoyable. I definitely want to have that update in there. Let's see if that ship's gonna adjust now. No, it doesn't. Let's slow it down to the pause. Let's go all the way to the torpedo, which is here. Hopefully, it's not gonna explode again. Prematurely. Uh, that's uh, that'll be sad. I mean, those torpedoes can go up to 7.5 kilometers, so it's definitely not the range, either. It doesn't have magnetic magnetic head like the torpedo twos have. Again, it's the same thing. What the fucking hell is going on? You see, the machine guns are over here. Now the ship's turning. Well, we got still chance. Let's test out. Okay, if those ones didn't work, maybe the third one, which is the mag magnetic without the bubbles, uh, will work better. The ship should be still too slow to at this distance to maneuver enough. Where are we? Right there. So those bubbles you can see in here, of course, but you go above the water. Can you tell it's there? No, you can't. So that, that's the difference. Can certainly surprise, and uh, they did surprise. First time to use it, nobody had it. Can't even tell this torpedo going at you, and it would just happen. And the question is, is it gonna hit? Let's speed up, but one time, let's follow the torpedo. And this this ones have the magnetic head, so technically, you didn't have to hit the ship, it will just explode close to it. And with this kind of overhead, it will do massive damage regardless. So that was, again, improvement that nobody else had. But the Germans. Uh, but I don't know why the first ones really exploded without the magnetic stuff. This is seems to be a contact. Nice uh, explosion there. As you see, it rocked the ship <coughs> the whole way. And that should be it. But we really spent three torpedoes on something like this. That's uh, ridiculous. And because of the map contact, I can't really predict this. Actually, I can use a. Uh, Periscope, how far are we? Are we safe enough to go above the water? 1,000 meters, probably not. They, they can still use the machine guns, like to 2,000 meters. Uh, quite accurately, to be fair, and effectively. It will damage a little bit. It can hit one of our crews and kill them. Uh, the ship itself, of course, will not receive much damage. But now it's already, you can tell the ship's going down. It's starting to uh, fill with water. On the side, it was hit. And the backside will definitely soon enough go down. Uh, the engine is still working, surprisingly. Uh, I guess a little bit of luck, but uh, in this situation, we'll, what will you do? I mean, it, that ship is done. Uh, they must know it. Uh, the guys on the machine guards are still there, holding position. So we still have to take care. But uh, you know what? Let's submerge this. So I'm just gonna give command on my keyboard. The ship will go up, and we'll see if they can shoot at us or not. Uh, we can go yes, a slow speed forward as well, otherwise we're going to take forever. Well, I messed up with the settings though. Yeah, the, the map not updating. Oh, there, there we are. In the distance, you can see us. Let's see if those guys gonna start peppering us with the 50 cars. 
We should certainly have at least 5 km range, but uh, how accurate it depends on the person operating. And then uh, at that range with the 50 cal hitting, you know, armored uh, hull of a submarine will not do much, but if it hits a person, that's a different story then. So we are totally up. And uh, let's uh, give a command to our crew to start shooting at them from the deck gun. Uh, we can operate the deck gun manually, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to operate, uh, just going to tell them to man, man it. Uh, let's go from here actually. How did you do it? Uh, man the gun, then shoot for the hole. Yeah. And fire at will, and we should be able to observe. And this all may take a time before the crew will go and uh, get the commands and then obviously get the solution. But they start to aim now. There we go, and the first shot totally wrong. Again, it depends how well <laughs> are the skills, you know, on your, of your sailors. But that's why I'm gonna give them the chance and they start shooting at us now. Just put it as our, uh, themselves. So the AI on the, on the ship wasn't really good neither, and look at the, how inaccurate they are regardless. I don't think that's dangerous to us in a one bit. Uh, the AI themselves now deciding if they want to shoot uh, high explosive stuff or armor piercing. Hopefully they shoot in the high explosives. I was gonna do them a lot sooner. And you can hear the realistic sound as well, uh, the travel of the sound is realistic as well. So if something is massive distance, uh, you will just see the explosion first before you're gonna hear it. Again, just small bits I really loved about the realism of those games. Uh, that's more accurate uh, now. And those hits are not coming. I'll give him two more chances to hit it and then I'll... Bloody hell. Two more chances to hit it and then I'm gonna take care of myself, but that was a hit sure. This will hit as well. Maybe I should be observing from my commander position. And that should really should go down. It should just explode in a massive firewall. We are finals. There you go. It's definitely sinking. And to see it's not helping us. You can take out many more. It's destroyed now, okay. Let's go back to normal view. Let's see if there will be massive explosion now. Sometimes they really explode very nicely. It depends, really. Again, I'll simulate it. Let's go closer than in the external camera. Because we don't want to miss the moment. And it's gonna go down. Now, the backside is too heavy, so of course it's leaning the front higher, and uh, yeah, you can tell there is more Z below us now. Yeah, those guys are going. Oh, a couple explosions. And that's it, uh, you can never tell. There was something there. Can I find my own ship now? How good am I at spotting at night? It was quite a distance. Oh, it's not. Ha! <laughs> oh, it's right there. Okay, so not terrible, terrible. But probably not, not any better than the AI on there, so I can't complain and not see any, but that does me the settings. And I also remember now, actually, I had the stabilization always on, so I can aim better. It was a bit more enjoyable to play the game like that. So we got 2000 tons done. Of course, we need to fi do 5,000. This ship was going this way across uh, the shallows, but that's deeper. Let's see how, mu how much deeper it is. 308 meters, okay, so we can definitely go all the way to the bottom <coughs> <coughs> or to the maximum limit of our uh, capability to go s uh, submerge. And we'll still have like 260 is probably really max on there and, and no more. Uh, but just in comparison, the American ship, they sometimes exploded under the pressure in 100 meters. This one can do to 60 just to give you an idea what uh, kind of technology uh, the Germans has compared to everybody else. Of course some ships can go 160 but I think that's the best one uh, from all the Allies ships can go 160 
it in late ages, like a later uh, war, 44 and 45, and 43 definitely all of them like 120 tops. Uh, this one was 260. So at this angle, we should be able to confront our relative maximum speed. Yes, sir. Ahead, but of course, if we got the chance, can we ask for a spy, spy spine again uh, for this ship to look for it uh, so we can sink it? Can we ask for one more? We can. Let's go spine somewhere here. Okay, maximum speed. Now, before I do that, I should really tell them to start transporting because now we are submerged. They're gonna start taking those torpedoes uh, from inside to the actual tubes. But if you don't tell them to take the outside torpedoes into the internal storage, you won't do that. So let's, let's do that. Let's tell them to start loading this as well. Otherwise, we'll be finding ourselves without the torpedoes soon, and there'll be storage on the outside. And you can only do that when you're outside. Oh, there we go. So back to the <laughs> normal map. Let's speed it up. Let's see the planes coming in. Hopefully, they are coming in. But uh, <coughs> since that will gonna be the first one, you can see in the meantime, two, one, two, and three is ready. Let's go back to normal speed, let's see if we manage to do any torpedoes from outside to inside. Not really yet. Uh, this one still says uh, progress 92. Just taking it out uh, and then it has to be put in as well. So the player is coming in. And I do wonder... Is it going to show us the ship? Let's go as slow as possible. I don't want to wait for the plane. Okay. It's is spotted here, so at least this is working, otherwise that would be really terrible. The radio is going to work, but not the hydrophone, that's what it says there in the settings. Uh, so, radio waves, we don't have really radio waves for the above the water yet. We only can use it for the airplanes. But the airplanes themselves, they'll get the radio waves which they can transfer to us, that's what we see it on the map. Uh, but that was my mistake, I shouldn't put it in there, in there because we will have a contact, I just have to do manually though. I don't want to. I wanted to be shown already on here. We should be able to catch it. Uh, hopefully, you can see now moving. We're going to be much faster. So, if we just go on the same angle as she was going, at some point, we're going to definitely catch it. And sadly, we're not going to see it again. It's probably now. That's that's when it's top down. So, let's have a look. If we go above the, the commander's route and then let's go in our bino, aiming straight forward. That's what it should be. And it, and it is there. It's at 7,000 meters. Let's lock it, and again, this shouldn't be rocking up and down. Uh, I like it when it's actually uh, stabilized. Because um, actually, some of the submarines they had the guy as well. This should be compensated, but this is kind of bad. Uh, this one is this is the same one. It says medium size. No, it's this one. This one is 2,800, so slightly more. Uh, on this distance, I can't really tell if it has any cannons. Probably it doesn't again, as we are in Pacific. It wasn't as serious as uh, it was in Atlantic, and it's as you see quite far away. Even at the maximum speed of the camera. It takes me a while to get there. I want to cheat <laughs> and have a look. Is there any machine guns? There's nothing, ab absolutely nothing here. This, this ship can't defend itself whatsoever. It will be a of bullets uh, or torpedoes. To shoot at it, so we're just gonna go above the water, let's close the distance. It's gonna take us a while. On above the water, you can do like maximum 64 time. Again, I can't tell how fast we're going, but I don't see the ship yet. I don't see it at all, let's go faster. Where is it? We must, we must be much faster than her. Okay, let's uh, go normal speed again, let's go bino. You can still see it, it's slightly to our left, now it's 4000 meters. Let's keep it like this, uh, 4,000, 3,000. Oh, now that was a uh, splashing of the wa waves in front of our ship. It's not somebody shooting at us. 2,000. Now we're close enough, so, and now she's spotting us. That's why she's turning direction. Uh, this time I'm gonna go myself into the actual cannon. We have loaded the high explosive, that's fine. Let's go into the cannon. Where is the ship? Should be. I didn't see the angle last time on the. Should be in front of us. Oh, let's go. Back to co commanders. Oh, it's to the left. I can see it there. Okay, back to the cannon. To our left. 
and it's right here. So it should be like 2,000 meters. Let's shoot at two and a half, 2,200. Let's take the first shot. No, a bit closer. Once we mark it and it start uh, being on fire, it's much easier to hit it because you can see it better. I should probably equalize my speed now to just a normal one. That's the first hit. No, it's still shooting too far. How close are we now? That was a hit for sure. Didn't see, but now you can see there's a flame. Let's shoot at the engine compartment. Just hold the other ship, there we go, that's a hit. And of course, uh, the more experienced are your sailors in your ship, uh, these reloads will be faster, but right now it's not too bad anyway, to be fair. That may not be hit, yeah, that's over. Let's send two more in the engine. Something exploded there. The question is, can we take the chimney? I'll do my best. It's not easy. Now the whistle means uh, changing of the shifts. Uh, different dif different shifts is going there to the fighting positions. I probably missed two of them now, isn't it? Uh, still shooting too high now because we are too close. I'm way faster than her. Uh, maybe a hit to the chimney. No, it's not. I don't take my chance. Can't really tell if I did or not. Now imagine you're actually on the ship and you shoot in this cannon, and sometimes you'll be un underwater in this kind of rough seas. Uh, certainly, will be an experience for yourself as well. <coughs> don't have to be even under fire to easily die. That was a hit for sure. Okay, so it's fairly on fire now. Perhaps you can switch to the armor piercing and start sh shooting below the water. Because this is definitely end of on fire for me. I'll just go below the water line and start hitting the ship below the water line, and then maybe it's gonna sink because it's gonna take too much water. Still too high, let's say, say 1000 meters or less. Yeah, that was definitely a good hit. Uh, you can see the explosion there as well. Just going below the water line to the ship. And another one. Because we can tell by the flash. It's gonna start taking some water on the left side. It's gonna start leaning towards the left. I'll be surprised if they manage the fire though in the first place, but we want to finish this as soon as possible. So we're gonna give him two more and that should be in. We're not gonna spend more on this one. It's still a small one. I mean 2800 is not exactly it says medium size in there, but uh, the big ones they go like 10,000 and uh, you know, warships are 10,000 plus, all of them. Well, except the small destroyers and stuff, but uh, I mean, normal battleships. As even going up to 50,000, as you know. This is not a large ship. And one torpedo pretty much can take care of uh, 10,000 if you hit it well. In tonnage, and uh, those shells shouldn't really have probably 2,000. That's pretty much all I want to invest into there. And just now it, yeah, it does the message, it's, it's destroyed. Let's go closer. Are we going to see explosion? Maybe something's going to explode inside? Not really, it's just going underwater. There's uh Oh! Spoke too soon. If the ship still has a fuel and is on fire, there's a chance it's going to explode. Look at the nice uh, uh, moon in there. Should try to do something for my thumbnail. Is this gonna be a good shot? If I can lower. Because uh, you can navigate the camera up and down, you can only move forward and backwards. So it's kind of hard. Well, I think this, this will do it. As soon as the ship's gonna be closer to me. That could be the thumbnail. Uh, yeah, that's still fuel on top, but the ship itself must be going down. 
and here is much more shallow so she's just gonna lay down onto the floor and stay there because if this was a daylight you will see the sunlight still coming in and this will be quite visible uh, again very nice effects really in this game even though it's old uh, I wanted to know how deep is this one 79 meters down it certainly doesn't feel that deep. Oh, I can tell it's in shoals. Uh, okay, so we definitely need one more. 2,800 plus 2,400, maybe not. Uh, you only need 5,000, isn't it? That's complete. Okay. New message. New message received. This time 7,000. 7, Where do you guys want us? It's not far away. We've got still plenty of fuel. 65. Uh, look at how many ships we found in here well obviously we have to go to the grid first and we're gonna go at uh, normal speed or full speed let's say let's change uh, the torpedoes we need to make sure they're being loaded out so one is gone already and it's in two more should be going out I'll be fine that will be definitely our bread and butter of destroying other ships Speed it up. Now it's daytime. Uh, daytime is good for spotting ships. Let's request some planes. Hopefully, we can. They refueled. They are. Let's send it to the area. And we know as well this one is quite good. Uh, with good circles. So let's go this one somewhere here. We'll take in five for us. 7000. Okay, so we con been considered to be in the grid. Although we're not fully there, as you can tell. We're on 76, not 78. <laughs> the game is good enough to be anywhere in the 7 and uh, let's slow down everything gonna wait for the planes to find us something to sink that's a good that's a good one so let's do some measurement again so we can know which way it's going it's going this angle like that, oops it's going at this angle click and then let's prepare ambush Let's say uh, to be 90 degrees to its sides at 2000 meters will be this place. That's where I want to put my waypoint. And I also want to be already aimed at the same angle 90 degrees when I go there. So let's do it like this. We certainly should be able to do that well at full speed. We know it's going to go. They're slower than us. Oop, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> can it's hard to because I can see how much is the speed on there. So we're pretty close now. I think we can uh, safely go. Is this. Uh, yeah, it was still faster. Yes. Let's go submerge. So now we are 14 knots forward. Let's see how fast we're going down. And the bloody periscope, I didn't take it down since last time, so we are more visible. But never mind, we're gonna use it soon. The sea is now fairly okay, isn't it? It's not exactly calm, but it's not exactly uh, angry. So let's see. In real time, at uh, full speed, not even the fastest speed, but full speed, how soon can we sink below the water? And trust me, this is sometimes even two minutes with the Allied ship. Ships uh, in real time, at their maximum speed. Uh, this one's gonna make it in 30 seconds or less. Guaranteed. So that's another advantage uh, the chairman's had. And as you see, that's pretty much it. It's gone. You can still see it. Uh, in this kind of distorted waters, though, now uh, you can't really see it through the waves. Bearing but now and then, yeah, we're not still in the correct five. depth Long because way. the waves are kind of like that. But uh, look at that. So, uh, well I do know it's not going to be on the map, well I'll have to find, I think we can possibly see it now. It must be on our left side, right? It must be on our left side. So we're going to have a contact. Let's go in zoom. Not yet. I made it too hard for myself for no reason really. With uh, those two realistic settings. 
it's much easier when you can see it on the map coming to you. And this way I'll have to just judge. We've seen it was coming this way, it may just take time. We are almost at 2000 meters, so I'm just gonna speed up the time until we are there. When we are there, yeah, the ship's gonna stop itself anyway. Because we reached the waypoint, now we have to wait for it. And I assume the game's gonna tell me by stopping the time. I think it just did. It means we possibly have a contact visual. Yes, we do. It's right here. And now we just need to. Coastal Composite Rider, how big are you? 1,000, it's the smallest. Probably doesn't have any defense again, but we're gonna shoot some torpedoes at it. Uh, we're gonna take torpedo without the bottles. It should sink it. Those first ones, uh, Type 1, didn't really work, did they? And uh, it seems like, uh, yeah, the torpedoes we wanted in here, they are all there now. Excellent. So, what we're gonna do, obviously, we're gonna speed up the game. And let's wait for the ship to come at 90 degrees to us and uh, distance. Uh, again, we can only shoot like up to two and a half kilometers. Uh, we did type two, or yeah, type two was only two and a half kilometers. So at this distance, it will be waste of torpedo anyway. Even though the angle is uh, really bad, and it won't explode, it will probably just bounce off. Uh, well, with the magnetic magnetic head, it won't. That's one of the reasons why it was magnetic. Like it wasn't about. Oh, it's gonna explode even if you miss it and it will be close enough. No, it was more about if it's gonna hit at a bad angle, it will not ricochet somewhere away, you know, and bounce off. It will actually explode because of the actual contact based on the magnet. Uh, so, soon enough, you're gonna have that 90 degrees. And I assume if you go into targeting now, you're gonna see this uh, pretty much straight forward. Yeah, for that should be fine. Uh, which of the torpedoes? Type 2. The first one seems to be three, and that's a uh, overkill. Let's let's use the second one. It's three kilometers. Second one out. Let's go quickly out. We want it to see as it's going from the door. I didn't catch it, but how mean does it look? Pretty nasty, isn't it? Well, let's, let's follow the torpedo then. So again, this is totally stealthy attack, as you can see. This is not going to make it easy, but uh, themselves. But they will have no idea. There's no bubbles. Let's go twice the speed, or four times the speed. Then we should be able to chase the torpedo, and uh, we're definitely going to be able to hit the ship. As you see, it's aiming. The position position is going to be at. Where is the torpedo now? Now we lost it completely, and that's how easy it is to lose it. Either way, uh, I know it's going to be coming to the ship, so let's go follow the ship instead. The unsuspecting victims. You should be able to see it coming from the right side. If I get... If I'll stop it to... Yeah, pause. <laughs> As, uh, the pause. Uh, it will be underneath, technically, but uh, the magnetic head is going to hopefully explode. It's, there is a duty in this game as well, so it may be a duty made to explode. But it should do the job. Uh, it should explode and it looks like it's going to take out the uh, engine. It did not. Bastard. But they shouldn't have any idea. Now let's go back to the... Okay, so perhaps I should be shooting Slightly forward. The ATC doesn't work as good. Uh, let's do the third one. Hopefully, that torpedo was uh, yeah type two. That should be fine. Let's try it again this time. I don't think they know about us. They didn't catch the opening part of the doors again. Just want to see if the ship is okay. So if the ship doesn't change the course, it will be there. A bit faster. Let's just follow the torpedo and uh, hopefully we're gonna see the ship. Because uh, this time I did it kind of manually, but uh, just like the adjusting again, still the ATC was uh, selected for the mid ship range. And I do assume it should be good enough. Let's go a bit faster. Chase the torpedo. It should be a, it should be a hit, uh, unless they change the course in the meantime. Which means they will have to know about it though, that 
I don't think the Mandalorian at all. You should be able to see it. Again, if I be fast enough, I'll catch it right here. Well, this house, you see, that should be, but it can go underneath. Uh, there's a magnetic head, though, in there. Can, I'm not sure why the ATC didn't select the proper depth based on the type of the ship, because it does that part. Let's see what happens. Yeah, fucking hell. Now, that's very upsetting. Uh, that's, again, probably the part with the map contacts, so the game doesn't know what to do. At one part, it's doing some parts for you, for free. At the other hand, uh, doesn't do the depth because of the map contacts and stuff. Where is it? I'll try it one more time. This time, what is number four? That's the best one. Okay, so we do type three, whatever. But I'll have to be in here manually with the first torpedo, and I'll put it as a at a depth of spread angle is not that one. Depth as to not four meters. Let's do. <laughs> One meter. What was the depth under the water on this ship? Let's see again. Let's bring the book. Well, uh, it's called the draft, isn't it? 5.5 meters. Okay, so at 4 meters, it should hit it. Uh, 1.5 should be fine for sure. Uh, let's go back to this one. Let's select it at least to 1.8, should be fine then. Let's go quickly into this one. It's going to be back angle soon, but this is why we can use the magnetic head on there. So even though it's bad angle, it should still explode. It shouldn't bounce off. Now we've seen the doors opening and closing. And this is the Type 3. It's more modern than the other one. And as you see, it was going up first. It should be still visible from the top like that. Not at all. All we have to do now is follow it. Again, this will be much easier with the map updates because I can just look at the map and then look when the torpedo is approaching the ship and just come to the ship at that time. Because this way we can't even tell if it's uh, maneuvering or not. The ship away from the torpedo, it looks like it's going to be hit. Uh, but distance now is probably too large. But this one is 5 kilometers, it should possibly still do it. Uh, where's the, sh the ship? Oh, I can't see the torpedo anymore, uh, there's no way I can find it, but I can come in here. Once again, do the same trick, and hopefully I'm going to be fast enough to capture the moment before it impacts. If it's going to impact. Is it turning to the left slightly? Probably not. Okay, let's do twice the speed. This torpedo, mind you, is a bit faster, yeah, and I just saw it. It was faster, so it's harder to catch. Uh, it was obviously impact, but I uh, got it right in the middle. I wouldn't be surprised if it was gonna break in half, but uh, now you probably would already do it. Uh, there you go. She's down, and, and she's gonna go down. Let's go yes, submerge surface or surfacing. Uh, let's go periscope down. Uh, let's push the ship to sink. May take a while, so we're gonna speed it up a little bit, but when the moment will come. And she will have enough. We'll slow it down, I think. It's nearing that position. Oh. She's fighting. Well, we, we know it, she's down though. And uh, to be honest. I'm surprised she's still not taking water on it, because that, that's almost sometimes submerged fully. Uh, she's still not leading to the right side that, that badly, to be honest, so I guess can we see ourselves if we can as us in the back. I definitely want to wait for this one to sink as well. And she's definitely fighting, look at that, so I don't know how much many times speed up, but that's minutes now uh, above the water. That will be a point. When she will give up, she will have too much water in it. And she will be too heavy, and then she's gonna go down. Question is... Look at that. She's a fighter. Oh, now she's on fire as well. I'll tell you what, uh... 
although we did sink it. You can't see it on the map, can we now? But I know it's to my right. I'm uh, just gonna plot a random course. Uh, watch if that's gonna be good enough. She's a fighter. It's gonna be more fa faster again. Okay, uh, how about sending two explosives in here? I'm not sure what is the distance, but uh, I'm gonna guess it's like. Oh, this is prediction pretty good. Do we have explosives? No, we have armor piercing. Let's send some explosion. Onto her. Come loading. Okay, that's one. Can we take the chimney out? No. Again, this this ship has no defense at all. God damn it! Ah, oh, that was it still. Hard with this mouse, I'll do struggle with that. Can't really aim it where I want it. But because of the shell, now it's not gonna move. Maybe now, if I should wait for this moment. When it was in my sights. Now I have to adjust it again. Now it should be enough. Oh, there you go. Let's go low. A bit time into the body. I, I thought it was a. Uh, Killed already, but she's above the water, which is upsetting me. And because of the map update is not there, I can't really tell if it's on the map marked as a synced. But technically, I still want to go under water, even if it's already killed or considered to be killed. Okay, let's do some armor piercing now. Below the waterline. Kind of close now to her though. Can we shoot? Let's slow down. Go down. Way too close now, we can't even aim it below the waterline. I guess she refuses to die. Let's have a look at the captain's log. Oh no, well, now it's definitely confirmed. Oh! That's what we was waiting for. Now that's gonna be, yeah, quickly sinking then I guess, uh, after explosion like that. Many holes going across the body. Plus the massive one on the side. Now we're going down to the deep sea. Oh, well, this is also like only 80 meters, isn't it? Or something. Let's have a look. How deep can this go? 335. Okay, so that was totally underestimated. Well. What do we do? Uh, we need to... Captain Lux is in here, yeah. 1800. We need 7000 in it in the end. So what we will do, we're gonna... Have to go and hunt those guys. She's going... This way. Let's plot the course. I'm sure we can get closer. That's even there, that's fine. Now this is probably, yeah, that's probably already land. Or there's something, yeah, the island. Yes, sir. So we got still updates from that plane. She'll be going this way for sure. We'll just have to wait. We'll be in shallows though. Okay. 
probably go slower. Not waste too much fuel. Then the ship's gonna stop as soon as that happens, yeah. We shouldn't be really hitting anything. Let's have a look on the captains. We should be, yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about the tubes, he was reloading from the indoors, those, but of course we got still much on the outside, let's do that now. Three, yeah, that's, that should be f that should be all. Uh, now we need to wait. Let's see when the game's gonna s stop. We're gonna have a con oh, we can definitely have a contact. Oh, it's slowed down now. So I assume we have a contact on our left side. Ship spotted. Uh, ship's bearing two eight one long range. Two eight one. That's something else. The hell is that? Fishing boat. Oh, that sucks. They can spot you and report you, which may have already happened. Can't tell if she's. Let's put it here. Tonnage of the ship about 81 tons. Uh, 281. 281 is actually on. 281 360, and then. God damn it. It's to the left. It's to the left, 5 kilometers somewhere here. Can we spot it? I want to see if she's turning or not. If she is, it means she knows about me and uh, that she will not come. But it's uh, 5 kilometers and she's very small. I may not even be able to spot it like this. At all. And that tells you how powerful are the binos on the submarine, because we can see that quite clearly. I can't find it like this though. Perhaps I was going to the wrong angle. So look. 280 means. Well, that's just the compass anyway. Uh, it's not zero in front of me, is it? Or is it? No, it's not. It's 130 now, so it will not work. <coughs> Either way, let's submerge. And let's go to Periscope Dev. Maybe. I'll be new ship spotted and. Uh, 293. Oh, is it the same one? Bearing 293 must be the same one, isn't it? So, 0 is here, 293 is to my left, yeah. And this is for ship boat. Now it's only 3 kilometers away. Our left is there. Now oh, we can see it now. Hopefully, that's not the ship they so. It's actually, it is possible it was this one. She doesn't know about us, and, uh, well, do we want to sink it? Not really. What are we going to do? We want some airplanes to find us. Pray. In our area. We'll have to wait for that. Engines are off, that's fine. Let's wait for the planes. Maybe a daylight will come. Okay, this is something. Well, technically it could be the same one. Okay, but this is definitely something else. Should be able to see it, to be fair. The plane can come back. Not really. Why did I make this this hard for myself? Can't really tell. Stop time. New message received. New message received. Oh, we got CEO now. Problem, isn't it? Oh, how much is the CEO? And thirty-four. Friendly warship, that's, uh, that's something I'm interested in. Uh, this really sucks. I messed up the game because of that uh, 
not updating the map. Now we know the ship was going this way, but that was kind of a long time ago. Well, technically I can still try to do something and uh, wait for it in there. Let's go submerge as well. Oh, oh surfaced, uh, I should say. Let's go here. Something is very short as water, so that's not important. But right now, I will stop. There's nothing else. New planes. In that case, find us a prey. But I made this too hard for myself for no reason, really. Just because I forgot. Okay, so this is. Could we help? Let's do new one. So she's gonna be coming this way. We wanna hit it at. Let's say 90. Well, it doesn't have to be exactly 90. That's now how we're gonna make contact. Okay, let's go periscope depth now. Let's have the attack periscope up now. Oh, it is. Okay, that's fine then. Anyway, we need to hope for the game's gonna tell us something's closing. It's gonna stop the time. Again, we'll see. Oh, stop now. Is it because we can see it on our side? Zero is here. Let's go to the right. Did I see something? Cut them in now. Ship spotted bearing two six six. Two six six, you say. Two six six. That could be a dock boat. One thousand one hundred tons. Well, two six six. What's the angle on there? Yeah, that's like to my left and behind me as well. We may as well use the afterwards. Uh, the aft ones are the six is the normal one. Type two, yeah, we can just aim it at six. Uh, let's go into number six. There we go. That'll be last if we're gonna actually sink. Uh, I have to go for the next mission if uh, you wanna see something like this again and uh, tick off the updates because I wanna see the updates. Uh, I would like to see the ship in here. Uh, but I can't now, so it does, it's not as much fun to play, to be honest, this way. Uh, let's go back to Periscope. Let's wait for it. Uh, I'll come to us. Hopefully it will not crash into us, because it does almost look like... Uh, let me go this way. How about... 3000 meters now, yeah, it seems to be quite rough. Uh, let's go slightly forward. Yes, sir. Ahead one third. Let's close this away so I don't see that. So make some distance. But this way they can see us, we'll be moving. We'll make some splashes on the top. I'll slow it down, that should be good enough. Uh, let's just now wait for the good angle. When that's gonna be 90, and hopefully. At further distance than 500 meters, we're gonna hit it hard. And this one, actually, I should probably manually set up the depth of the torpedo as well, because she's very light. She will not. Uh, she will not be having really that much aft. Uh, where is it? Shape. Book. Draft for once. Really? Either way, let's go into the torpedoes. The angle is still bad, though. Six and let's do not four meters. Let's do two point one. 
I assume he's tracking the ship over there, so I'm gonna wait until that's 90 degrees. We're gonna shoot the torpedo. That's gonna be pretty, pretty close. So, like, like now. Pause, there we go. Let's go quickly out. Let's go behind our submarine. As we see, there we go, and he's out. Let's go this way. The question is. Yeah, that's very close. Is this gonna go the right way? I mean, it should be tracking the ship, so I assumed. It doesn't look like it's gonna hit though. To me. Should be no bubbles. No, she doesn't know. And it's gonna hit for sure. Okay. No. I say for sure, but it will be close to the engine room. You can see the rocking of the ship, that was quite heavy hit as well. And of course, one torpedo should be really enough for it to go down, but it didn't say yet it's destroyed. They have also no defenses at all, so regardless, you're not going to spend any more torpedoes. Just going to surface and see if she's going to need any help to go down. And let's see with <coughs> without any speed, how fast we're going to appear. And where? <coughs> I assume it must be somewhere there, isn't it? Oh, it's over there. Now, of course, we need to turn the ship yes. to the right Two, slow, because otherwise the Ahead, cannon, which is in the front, now this is the back side, and won't be able to, s to really do anything. So we need to turn. But, it doesn't matter. You can see in the real time. She's going down for sure. And it's very shallow in here. Very, very shallow. Huh. She already bounced on the bottom. The top is actually still on top. Oops. Well, that's gonna help it. See what's gonna happen. I think she's gonna do a backflip. Oop. Camera is giving me troubles again. Or she's gonna. Yeah, she's falling forward. And there she goes. Oh. Another one bites the dust. So how deep is this one? It's, that seems to be really. Shallow, 52 meters. So she's only along, let's say, that 50 meters, and she's probably exactly 50 meters. That's why she, the tip was still in the front. No, <coughs> there's something else in here. Speed medium. It's probably the fishing boat, isn't it? I should really ignore everything else, uh, I guess, or I should finish at least the one mission, though. And then go home uh, with, uh, yes, we finish everything. Let's try to chase it. Let's see if that's the one. It shouldn't take us too much effort, because uh, you're going to speed up the time and the contacts will happen. It did. Merchant spotted. Uh, bearing 344. 344 is uh, to our left. Where is this? Is three four four to me? Well, I don't see that ship. Where are you? Oh, it's right there. It's right there. Barely see it. It's eleven kilometers. Small freighter. This one is two thousand four hundred. Let's let's chase her. And it will be kind of hard without the compass, but let's say it's just this way. Let's keep that bino on her though. And speed up the game. Well, I need to go closer. She's 9 knots fast, so if I go submerged underwater, she will not really 
she will run away from me. We can only go like seven knots. But uh, sooner or later she will not me notice me now like like this. Uh, but she doesn't have any cannons or anything like that, so we may as well just maneuver ourselves into a torpedo position regardless. And the torpedo will be too fast for her to do any man maneuvering. Seven thousand meters she still doesn't seem to be knowing about me. Six thousand. Maybe she does, but no, she's still going the same way. 5,000, 4,000. Now she knows definitely. She's panicking and trying to do a vision. But uh, yeah, you're gonna shoot at her from 2,000 meters, we're not gonna miss for sure. She doesn't have any cannons, it doesn't look like. Yeah, well, that's why I. It's probably the same one we did before, but that's why I wasn't really scared 2,000 meters now. So if you go exactly to the aiming at the middle of the ship. Uh, what kind of torpedoes we have in the front though? Let's have a look again, okay, where's the torpedo room? Type 2's. Type 2, okay let's go through the windows. Let's exactly yeah, lock it at the center, time 2. In the middle, let's fire. I think that should be... Well, she'll turn to the left now, that was a mistake. Uh, instead, let's do 2,000 meters. Uh, that torpedo will not hit. Uh, she was, she just started turning to the left now. And, uh, yeah, we are aiming at the wrong spot. Uh, although you do in center, she's definitely gonna go all left. Now it's gonna miss exactly. Uh, it's best to do this. If I was 1000 meters away, then I will hit it, but 2000 meters, no. Well, I can do nothing, I'll just sing them anyway. One, come on, one more. Let's try to do it at twice the speed so that. Okay, there is some cannons, actually, there's uh, machine guns. Let's go submerge in uh, underwater. I don't want to risk any of my crew. Right, this is dangerous. I'll go down. So, if this was a two minute process, you know, it won't be much fun. But since it's a lot faster process, Oh, they can still chance to kill someone. But not anymore. They technically inside the ship now. And those 50 cars will not do much uh, damage to us. Well, we can definitely check uh, is our whole integrity 100%. Full damage is 4% actually, so the 50 cars did something. But just chipping away, I guess. But now we need to turn to the left. I know that much. And again, if there was a map. I can see the ship on the map, it will be so easy to angle myself perfectly, but this way, I'm always guessing. And uh, for the same reason, I mean, uh, this should be a torpedo for something really strong, but it's Akustin homing. I'm not gonna miss the ship shooting this one. So let's fire number four, why not? Uh, anyway, it's not gonna be used otherwise anyway, so let's do not. That's from the front. Let's see. Torpedo exiting the front and we should really si silence the ship now because otherwise we can still turn around and come to us and go after the loudest thing in the water uh, of course the mechanisms is uh, only uh, like activated after 5 meters of the first uh, of the first 5 meters of the shooting torpedo so it doesn't it shouldn't really should you on the ship you will have the time to switch it off within that 500 meters, but after that she's, the torpedo is going to start listening and you will see it movement uh, ah, there you go yes, now you can see that definitely listen to the sounds and it's going le left right because it doesn't really know, it just knows the waves like bam 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 so it's following the, the sound, but it will definitely go after the engines that's right here, so let's go normal speed 
and you will see it making its way. Okay, not exactly exact, and this is probably just gonna take out the engine. You know, unless they probably did some, we landed some hits before on the ship itself. Now it seems to be all in fire. And you can see the hits from the cannon. Uh, she's not dead yet, but hopefully she'll go down. Cause I currently go out, so only at two and a half thousand meters more. Uh, when she's gone, how far away she is now? And then do some shots. So. 1500 meters, so let's just speed it up. Let's see if she oh, she's definitely going down. Uh, the backside was sinking rapidly. People already escaped, and you can watch her too. Oh, this is very shallow. She's holding on to, but uh, ultimately, she will give in fully. Final explosion of the fuel. As you can normally see, but those guys are definitely not happy about about it all. We can go up, and now I suspect we're gonna be somewhere there, isn't it? So maybe something nice as well to observe. Uh, if I can land the camera where I want it, where are we? Uh, over there. That was quite quick as well. So how much did we destroy now? Two point four, one thousand, no, eighteen hundred. I think that was on th on this. Isn't it? We need seven thousand. So that's well, let's say roughly three thousand plus two and a half, five and a half. We need still one more, and then we're gonna go out. Okay, uh, planes. Find us victim. To our plan. They come in, they come in. Okay, we have uh, something coming here. Or we can try to aim for this one. And I think I'm gonna go for this one. It's gonna go this way. Meaning all we have to do is just wait. Again in shallows, but uh, let's even go forward. Uh, straight to it, uh, we can just hit it from the front uh, when we submerge with the, one of the invisible torpedoes, essentially. Okay, we go full speed ahead and uh, let's select the... Just in case we need it, so that we shot one from backside so we can Replenish that, and then two of those from the front, on the outside. There we go. Scan the map. Speed it up. That was a contact. No shore waters. Uh, we know about that. And now we should be contacting that ship. She's apparently going to us. Ah, oh, there we go. Maintain current under. So let's have a look. What kind of ship it is? It's a night. Should be in front of us. That means zero degrees. 0 0.3, so it should be right here. Oh, I, I, I saw it right there. A fishing travel, are you fucking kidding me? It's a flop. <laughs> 530 tons of the shipping travel there. It's not like uh, exactly just the smallest, smallest. But it will be. Waste of everything, I guess. What is this one? Let's just try to catch the other one. On this way. We're gonna turn away. Let's go this way. Plan is gonna. Yeah, we know, but that one doesn't that's really nothing important. It, there is something important, hopefully. Let's stop it. Let's go more. In her course, 
We'll have to go catch it, but we'll definitely catch her somewhere. There we go. Again, it should be in front of us. Oh, what's the bearing? 351. It's right to the left. Uh, let's look that. Don't, don't tell me there's fishing boat again in there. I will start sinking, you guys. This one is only 81 tons. Okay, there's a chance this one's gonna be something. In that case, we're gonna change the course because uh, we wanna go off the side of that one. Or being seen going a different course, she, she may change the course as well because of that. Uh, we'll see what's gonna happen now. Merchant spotted. 357. 357. Here, fishing boat. You fucking kidding me? Oh god damn it! There's something here. It's all shallows. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> was this a contact? It was a contact, isn't it? We won't find any fishing boats this far away. Let's go speed up on this one. Hopefully we're gonna get there. Uh, I probably should have really sent the planes to assist me with this. You just need one more. No luck there, I'll slow it down completely. How's our fuel? Okay, it doesn't look that bad. Where's those planes? Five meter fucking ship. Something in the zipper, probably. There's something coming here. Let's go by normal. I believe, come on. She was going this way. We must make we should make contact by now though. Okay, that didn't work. Any new planes? Well, find me one. There, there is she. I don't think this can be a fishing boat, but I tend to be corrected, I guess. We'll see what's gonna happen. She's way too fast. Are we going 13 knots only? Why don't I go faster? Uh, why we didn't see her? God damn it! Finally. Three four four. Three four four. Well, that's something bigger. Coastal fighter. Well, eighteen. Oh, that should be enough, though, for our goal. And the problem is we're chasing her and it's eight thousand meters away, and the angle is slightly off as well. To the left. Stick like this and let's do maximum speed. Let's go back to the binos. Should be coming to zero now. Probably slightly more, so I'm actually gonna use this. Well, no, because uh, I do the degrees, I have to put it back to zero. I'll just keep it this way. 7,000 meters, 6,000 meters. We don't have any of the acoustic ones anymore. But with a little bit of luck. 5,000. I, she, she, I don't think she still knows. 4,000. Water speed 9 knots, so she's faster on above the water anyway. I'll have uh, one shot at this, uh, I think that's right now actually. What do we have in the stores? Uh, two, any three ones? No, no third one, so it's three kilometers exactly only. Anyway, well, let's go closer then. 
Those meters he still doesn't seem to be knowing. Three thousand meters now. Well now she knows. She's doing evasions. Oh. Doesn't matter, let's get closer. Is there any machine guns? There must be two of them though. Uh, let's go to normal speed. So we're gonna start soon. Is it the same one with the two? There are none. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you are totally defenseless. Let's just do the turn. Stop. Let's go forward. Let's go slightly right. Let's go forward. That's a good position. Okay, how, how far away we are now? In meters, first torpedo. Is it locked? Shoot. Stop. I believe you can now hit her. That's eight meters is quite close. Where is the ship? There is she. And there's the torpedo. Now, am I right or am I wrong? I believe the torpedo will be too fast for her to dodge. I guess we're gonna find out now. It's close enough for us to just follow it and we should be able to see the ship. So for a moment it's on the left side. Okay. I didn't do the submersion, did I? No, I did not and the magnetic will not trigger it. Alright, you pissed me off. Let's get our guys in there. They have the command to shoot. And we're gonna watch it to be in pummeled. Like that. At this distance, even my folks can't miss. This could be a two mil again, is a chance. Any chance there is a, a beautiful moon somewhere, not, not right now. So it'll have to be something like this, I guess. Almost missed. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> now missed. Jesus. Are you drinking or something? Well, she is pummeled. What do you guys think? Uh, how many more it's gonna take to take it down? Nope. That would be definitely it. Torpedo missed. Oh, you don't say so. Maybe may be wondering what I was doing with the camera. I was trying to get my thumbnail. Maybe this one will be the one, we'll see. There's a lot of pretty sights to be fair, uh, graphically. Will give us a chance to have the thumbnail. Well, she's down, meaning, yeah, the mission is done. Well, oh, let's see the new one. No, there's still one more. This is a fucking bastard. But I can't play like this without the... Until we ask to go there, that's not gonna happen. Can't play that without the update of the maps anymore. Uh, I think this is still changeable. If you guys enjoy what you've seen, we can still play this. Uh, 
ongoing. Uh, pretty much, but this time it's going to be much better because I'm going to see the updates on the map. Well, I'm going to see those dots all the time when I get visual contact. I'll be able to target them better and prepare my solutions on the torpedoes much more efficiently and I'll have to look for them ships where I actually they are and I can also manage to position my ship much better because uh, I will see it on the map at all times. So let's go full speed ahead back home. We are done. We don't care about the orders. <laughs> Definitely not going to the other side of Australia. Fuck those people. <coughs> and we are close to the waters. There will be no, no issues on the way back. I mean, uh, the other mission is going to involve mostly going around India or Africa. And you know, th those waters right here, they're very dangerous. And uh, Or if they send us to the other side, to Midway and stuff, that's also very, very dangerous. We may meet something along the way. Just by accident, but again, she spotted three, two, two. Okay, so we got the chance. I'm not gonna let it go. If uh, if something good enough for us to snag, we'll snag it. Three, three, two. Where are you? Nope. Don't see it. It'll be fucked though, isn't it? Oh, okay, says. So that's a different angle. It doesn't show now. Oh, it doesn't recognize it yet. Well, it seems to be a sizable ship though. Oh my god, these are to our left. We changed the... Is that her visually? It can't be her. That, that's what we had originally from a radio contact or something like that. But now she must be more. Speed it a bit. Three, three, one, long now. Okay, where are you? It's on the right side now, apparently. Okay, now we can log it on to. Oh, it's one of the small ones, though. Oh, well, you know what? She's going to us. I guess she doesn't know about us yet. The Six thousand meters. Risk of death. Seems to be having the good angle on there. We can, we're gonna wait for her to come to us and we're gonna shoot at her a salvo. Because why the hell not? We are going home anyway. And hopefully, we're gonna hit her with uh, two or more torpedoes at the same time. And she'll broke in half or something like that. It will be quite spectacular. So, there's a chance. Do something nice like that. Can't really see her. It's actually her, so it's, it's on the left side. And she's going to the left more, isn't it? Why is she going to the right? Let's have a look. You will have to maneuver. Now she's definitely going here. See, this is the problem with the map. Uh, on map I could easily see it and then solution my ship easily. So where she's going now, I know. It's much more to my left. Like how much, I can't really tell. And the problem is as well, she's probably off position, so on this speed we won't be possibly able to. Let's see if that's gonna tell us. But there is down to 50. What are you talking about? How can that be so quickly done? And we are at 3 knots only. What happened? Do we are at damage or something? It should be 7 knots. Oh, that is very interesting. Well, let's have a look if we can find it. Uh, where can she be now? Oh, did I totally, totally mess up the angle? Which is possible. Like, again, I don't have the updates and uh, I wanted really to... ...lay to that ship everything. Well, submerge. No, or surface. Let's go. Fuck about down. I was going this way though. Well, maybe we're gonna still meet there face to face or something like that. Maybe turn to the wrong direction. But it's in the slow down. Fuck it. Whatever. Not gonna see that. Sorry guys. Uh, not exactly. How about what? What is this? Oh, we may still contact it. Was going this way. 
no, there was no contact. Whatever, the batteries are now fully operational. It's not much fuel on diesel. I'll just go back home, let's see how much renown we will get, uh, what upgrades we can get, possibly, and then... If you guys like what you've seen, uh, but yeah, I'm sorry about that stuff. It's much better when you can have these upgrades up this in the map. You can plan ahead much better, you can maneuver better. Everything's better feeling this way, it was a lot of guessing work, really, and a lot of misses because of that as well. Stop, 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 stop. We wanna go like uh, half a speed now, I don't wanna crash into the actual harbor, because it may happen when you're going too fast, the game will not recognize you're that close and at 5000 speed, when you go into anyone knots, it will just send you right against the shore. Oh, we have a chance to end it now. That's it. Yes, I want to. We are done. We sinked 12,000 tons and 6 merchants. Now, it's good enough for our some kind of cross, a second class. Thank you. Now let's have a look how much renown we got. 3,500. Not too shabby. Uh, let's go back and let's compare it to the aces, which were the actual aces in the war. And you can see how much they did sink during the war. We had uh, 11th place now with 12,000. And 10th one is 161,000. But Trust me, when you play this game, you're gonna be like, I was probably like 1 million or something, uh, and I was in the super fast modern type uh, 11 boat, which uh, is probably the one you can see on this picture here. No, it's not. Uh, it's a bigger size. It's like super fast, uh, super stealthy, super advanced ship at the time. They made only two, and none of them actually seen in combat because it was in 1945, and they actually did some combat, but there was no combat, the, the war ended. Uh, but you can have it in this game, and that thing is absolute beast. You can go like 27 knots underwater and 32 above the water with the super speed uh, system they had. And uh, six, you know, forward tubes. You can six. Uh, you can shoot six of those torpedoes. Uh, so you can go much deeper. Everything else. I mean, it's a absolute ex super ship, uh, especially for the time. And it's real. It, r it really was uh, that good. It was existing. Well, <laughs> can we change now? That's a big question. If you had one mission like that, if I change the gameplay, yes, we can. And why did I click this no map? I'm a fucking idiot. When selected, the hydrophone and visual contacts will not appear, and this is the problem. I wanted to see the hydrophone and visual contacts on my map so I can really navigate myself much better on the radio contacts. That was from the from the airplanes. So I'm an idiot. And this also, you know what? Uh, I don't want. It. But we can uh, take those two off, and we, we could continue now if we wanted to. Uh, so at least for the meantime, what could I be looking forward to? So hopefully we can upgrade. Hydrophone, is there anything better in there? 30, 30. That's the best one we have, but the radar, we couldn't get the best one, which is this one. 10,000 meters, yeah, definitely gonna do that. Uh, did we change it? Yes, we did. Uh, warning receiver, I'm not really bothered about planes yet, uh, I'm not really bothered about decoys neither, but submarine content, yeah, I'll be we're gonna get that. So it's gonna sonar, sonar signal that the de reduction by 15% that can help me a lot. Uh, cannon, we're not gonna get better one, can we? Let's just compare those two. Oh, that's single shot fire, and this is automatic, so we definitely need that one. Uh, but we don't have 40, 1400. <laughs> we'll have to earn it. With 860, we can't really do much outside of getting some better torpedoes, which, uh, to be fair, we just need one of those into front. And everything else is fine. Uh, torpedo ones. Uh, well, I'm, well, I'm even bothering. I'm not sure, because we may not play this game again. But this was Silent Hunter. It is excellent game. Uh, Enjoy it a lot, and if you guys want to see more, and you will have better experience, trust me, because of that two things I just sticked off. Uh, it was too realistic. Uh, it's very hard for me to work like that. It's much more enjoyable as well when you, when you see the ship. You can plan, you can see her coming in. You plan your angle. You can see it on the map, and then just come back to normal view and just execute it perfectly. 
and with the torpedoes I don't have to go by, by them like to follow the torpedo I can see it on the map the torpedo itself and the ship and I can see if it's gonna hit it or not and when it's close to it we can just go there and have a look uh, it was uh, much harder work now and it didn't work I didn't give you the views you could have that otherwise because again you don't wait for 15 minutes to the torpedo to, to hit so I had to speed it up and the 4k in this instance didn't help me much because it was covering my <laughs> speed I couldn't see it all I can see is my recording button there so I didn't know how fast I was speeding it up and then yeah I didn't catch it all the time in time to slow down the game and I had to pause the game all the time because I didn't know when it's actually going to do the pause and then unpause is the next speed up well that's what it is uh, <laughs> For now, I'll s hope you enjoy the game, and I'll see you in the next episode of something else. Was well, something else in the what's in my library. See you guys.